So let's say I've drawn my line. I know that my line of best fit, okay, that I've drawn goes through the coordinates 3, 8, and 7, 20. And I've got axes of x, little x, and log 10, y, okay? So what I can do is I can figure out what uh, the gradient of the y-intercept would be, okay? So knowing, uh, so first thing I'd do is work out the gradient. So m is equal to the difference in the y-coordinates divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. Okay, oh, sorry, that's a 3. So 20 take away 8 is 12, 7 take away 3 is 4, and so m is 3. Okay, so what I can then do is I can say, well, uh, let's choose this point. So y minus 8 is equal to the gradient 3 times by x take away 3. Okay, so that is the equation of the straight line. Now, I don't particularly want it in that format, so let's uh, simplify that. Let's put it into y equals mx plus c form. So that will be 3x. I'm going to get a minus 9. Add on the 8, so minus 1. So y equals 3x minus 1. Now, I can replace the y and the x back with log 10y and x. So log 10y equals 3x minus 1. Now, if I want to get to y equals, then this is y equals 10 to the 3x minus 1. So that's actually the equation of the curve. Okay. Now, if you think uh, the problem that we were looking at previously in the previous video, we had it that the curve was of the form y equals k b to the x, okay? Now, this isn't in that format, okay? So I'm going to have to get it into find k and b here. So what I can then do is I can say to myself, right, well, um, if I manipulate this, this is 10 to the 3x times 10 to the minus 1, yeah? So if that's the case, right, then I could reorganize this to say it's 10 to the minus 1 times 10 to the 3x. Now, I've got what appears to be the k, but I don't have b to the x because I've got 10 to the 3x. So let's use a bit more indices knowledge here. So 10 to the 3x is the same as 10 cubed to the x. OK, that's my thinking. So actually, this can be written as that, which is 1,000, because that's 10 cubed, to the x. So if I write it as y equals 1 tenth times 1,000 to the x, I have it in the form of k times b to the x. And this is the equation of the curve that fits the original data.